Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to see how to set default storage limit for new sites in SharePoint Online. So what I am talking about here is, now whenever you will create a SharePoint site, for example, uh, this is the SharePoint admin center you can see here. You can go to your tenant name hyphen admin.sharepoint.com or you can also go from admin.microsoft.com and you log in with your office 365 credential and there you can just expand so all and if you scroll down you can see these are the admin centers click on sharepoint and you will come up with sharepoint admin center so here if you go to active sites uh, from here we can create sites so if you'll see here i'll click on create and let's say i'll create a team site and if I'll just expand the advanced setting, you can see here by default, this is the storage limit it is appearing based on my uh, Microsoft 365 plan. So I don't want, let's say this much storage limit by default will be provided to any user. So what we can do here is we can uh, reduce it according to our requirement that we can do it from this SharePoint admin center. So if you look at here, you can see uh, settings so in the settings you can see there is sharepoint and site creation once you click on site creation you can see this is the default storage limit for new sites suppose i want 250 gp for new sites so whenever someone will cre create a new site by default it will be 250 gb now click on save now it is saved i'll go to active sites and click on create and then i'll go team site i'll expand this and I'll be able to see now you can see the default storage limit is 250 GB anyone can come here and uh, that they can increase or decrease but by default when they will open suppose most of the time what we do is we will provide a site name and then click on next and we'll start creating so that time the default value it will take uh, as the storage limit so we need to make sure that uh, this is uh, the uh, this is how we can change it now next i'll show you how we can do it how we can change this default storage limit for the existing sites so if you want to change in the existing sites which you have already created you can go to active sites you'll be able to see all the sites whatever is available here now for example let's say this is the hr team site if you want to change it you can select this site and uh, then click on uh, storage and here you will be able to see this is the storage that has been there so you can change it now let us say i'll say uh, 2024 gb i'll click on save and uh, that is the storage has been now has been allocated you can see it here i have also created a complete article on the same you can see here i'll put the link in the video description that you can follow also along with that so if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to our youtube channel you will get a lot of free videos on sharepoint office 365 and power platform spfx like like these technologies thank you and have a nice day